Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about dynamic cast in C++. So what is a dynamic cast? It's a casting operator used to find out the dynamic type of a pointer or reference. It's primarily used for shape down casting. That is casting a pointer or a reference of a base class to a pointer or reference of a derived class. But it can also be used for cross cast in hierarchy as well as for casting to void pointers. So when you use it when you use dynamic cast for a pointer, um, you can actually find out the dynamic type of type of the pointer. That is, to which class object the pointer is pointing to. And if the cast is successful, you get the valid pointer of the derived class. And if the cast fails, you get a null pointer as a result. So here you can see a simple example where employee and manager are the two classes. Manager is derived from employee class, and it has an extra method called as manage people. And both of them have a virtual method called as get salary. So in your main, uh, let's say you have two pointers of EMP employee, EMP1 and EMP2. One of them is pointing to an employee object. The other is pointing to manager object. So when you use dynamic cast to find out the dynamic type of the this pointer, uh, for EMP1, you get null pointer as a result. And for EMP2, which is actually pointing to manager class, you get a successful down cast and you get a valid pointer. As a result and then you can call manage people method on top of it so this is a very simple example uh, which shows how to use dynamic cast uh, now similarly you can use dynamic cast for references and it will tell you uh, the dynamic type of the reference that is uh, to which class object the reference is referring to and if the cast is successful you get a valid reference and if the cast fails uh, you can't get a null reference but you get a bad cast exception so here again uh, we see the same example uh, with manager and employee class and there are two references emp1 ref and emp2 ref so one of them is pointing to manager the other is pointing to employee class object so if you uh, for emp2 ref uh, you get a successful cast and the manager ref is a valid reference on which you can call manage people method whereas for emp1 ref uh, you get a bad cast exception thrown out so this is again a simple example for uh, using dynamic cast for references. So let's see how dynamic cast actually works. So dynamic cast when you use it for a derived class pointer to base class pointer it can be done at compile time because it should always work. Uh, similarly when you use dynamic cast for unrelated types uh, which are uh, you know which are having no relation that can uh, be done at compile time because it should always fail uh, by, and you can do it by returning null. However, the dynamic, uh, the down cast uh, for which you are using dynamic cast uh, from base class, base pointer, base class pointer to derived class pointer, it is executed at the runtime, and that uh, that is a trickier part. So such down cast involves basically uh, the traversal allow inheritance hierarchy, uh, and it does a comparisons like a string comparison to uh, along the uh, way along the traversal using the uh, virtual method tables uh, so there is a type info uh, that is available uh, and it also uses virtual methods uh, method tables uh, to find out the actually uh, dynamic type of the uh, given pointer so this dynamic cast is basically a uh, costly operation and it works only for the polymorphic types uh, which are having virtual functions so let's see what is the cost and what are the alternatives that are there because this down cost involves as we discussed the traversal and the comparisons it's a costlier operation and but there is no guaranteed alternative to dynamic cast if you want to down cast and if you want to call functions which are not part of the base class like we saw here in uh, that um, manage people is the only uh, method that you want to call let's say uh, and it's not part of the base class so in such cases you have to have a down cast from base class pointer to derived class pointer and dynamic cast is the way uh, you should be using but um, the there is an alternative of static cast that you, you can use uh, for down cost as well uh, it avoids the cost of the runtime check but it's only safe if you or your program can guarantee uh, that it is not going to fail and uh, that the object pointed to by expression is uh, definitely a derived class object so in that case you can use a uh, static cast uh, so that is one of the alternatives the another alternative is uh, you can provide the virtual uh, function implementations in your base class like providing uh, implementation some basic implementation for manage people in employee 
or just do nothing in base class so that is another alternative and then uh, the other alternative is you can use a double dispatch approach like visitor design pattern um, and that can also cons be considered to avoid using uh, dynamic cars so there you would be using virtual functions again so this is basically these are the five key things uh, we saw we saw uh, what is dynamic cast uh, we saw how to use it for pointers, how to use it for references, and then we saw uh, how it works and what are the what is the cost associated with it and what are the alternatives for it. So these are the five key things about dynamic cars. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.